Hi everybody, this is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. Good to see you guys. I just want to encourage you really, really, really quickly. And I just want to tell you guys that we're doing Pastor Scope tonight. 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Woo! We're going to do it. Follow the Jennifer Jones. She's on here. Yeah, I just picked up my babies from school. Y'all want to say hi to Periscope? Say hi! Yeah, so 7.30, we're going to be talking about holiness and righteousness. So I'm excited. But I just want to give a really, 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 really quick word. All right, a lot of people, you got something that you need from God. You were saying like, Lord God, I don't know what to do, Father. I'm getting frustrated. I'm fasting. I'm praying. I'm decreeing a word. God, I got a prophetic word over my life. Listen, right now in the season of transition, what you need to do is praise God. All right? Now, I'm not telling you nothing I don't do in my personal life. Amen. I had a situation. I, you know, I tried to, I felt discouragement trying to come on me after war with my prophecy. Amen. After war with my prophecy. And I, how you doing from Las Vegas? Woo! After war with my prophecy. And when I say God move, God move. Your praise will bust heaven wide open. Amen. Your praise will bust heaven wide open. Your praise will cause, you know, God to move for you. Amen. I begin to praise God. And I just said, I just said, God, thank you. Thank you. Just begin to thank God for what you want. Amen. In advance before you even see it. I, I know it hurts. Uh, sometimes you got to cry through it. But I just begin to give God praise. I begin to give God praise. Amen. So the thing that God told me to do, it seemed like, you know, uh, nothing was happening. And I felt frustrated like frustration coming in me but you know what i have to rebuke that stuff and cast that stuff to the pits of hell and i just begin to give god praise like a crazy woman like wow and when i say god move god move so i want to prophesy and tell you that god is going to exceed your expectations as you begin to give god praise amen i don't think you hear what i'm saying see the enemy wants to shut you up the enemy wants to keep you quiet the enemy wants to keep you discouraged the enemy wants to keep you frustrated you know god is getting ready to move because of uh, the frustration that's coming at you you know that god has something amazing for you something great and it's like the enemy is trying to do everything he can to you know attack you people walking out your life people slandering you people gossiping about you just all kind of crazy stuff to get you up out of character to get you distracted to make you take your eyes off of jesus but we're not going to take that bait we're not going to take that bait amen so i need you people of god just to raise hands and begin to give god praise even now and say god i give you praise god i exalt you god i magnify you god god i just bless you in advance for the things that i'm believing you for and just begin to thank god begin to thank him amen i had to thank god amen when i felt some kind of way so let me tell you something we need to renew our minds people of god and the word of god says to cast those high thoughts down that exhaust itself against the knowledge of god and bring those thoughts all right into captivity into the obedience of jesus christ so i come to decree and declare today that our thoughts are subjected to jesus christ amen so every thought in your mind maybe the enemy is causing doubt maybe the enemy is causing fear you know we cast that stuff down to the pits of hell amen we cast that stuff down to the pits of hell and we come into agreement right now that our thoughts are subjected to Jesus Christ, that our thoughts are going to please God, that our thoughts, come on now, we're thinking positive things, we're th we got the mind of Christ on, we don't have time to be double-minded, amen, I don't know about you, but I need God, I need everything that God has for me, amen, I don't know about y'all, but we need to be able to put on the mind of Christ to be able to receive, Amen. So I come to decree and declare today, and I'm getting ready to get off of here. All right, I just want to encourage you and tell you about Pastor Scope at 7:30 Eastern Standard Time PM. It's gonna go down. I'm telling you, Jesus. But listen, as you praise God, just like Second Chronicles 20, you know King Jehoshaphat. Read that chapter. I encourage you to read that chapter, Second Chronicles chapter 20. King Jehoshaphat. He had a problem. He had three different kings trying to come at him. He didn't even know what to do. But he turned, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he proclaimed the fast. He proclaimed the fast. And then the word of the Lord came to the prophet. And pretty much he put praise dancers in front of the army. He didn't even have to fight the battle. My God. I want to decree and declare. Yep, I'm telling you, I love uh, Second Chronicles 20. I love it for a lot of reasons. All right. He didn't even have to fight the battle. As the praise dancers began to praise God, I'm telling you, the Lord himself ambushed his enemies. 
all right so right now you got resistance you got the enemy trying to resist you in in you know in the spirit realm i want to decree and declare as you open up your mouth and begin to give god praise even though it hurts even though you don't understand some things you know god is going to ambush your enemies amen i'm telling you people of god I begin to praise god and i begin to see heaven move for me i'm telling you so be encouraged i love you guys we're going to talk about righteousness we're going to talk about holiness tonight listen people of god i used to be a stripper but now I'm a, uh, I'm a virtuous woman of God. You know, I practice righteousness. And the Lord gave me revelation about righteousness. Amen. So we're going to talk about that thing. Amen. We're going to talk about this thing tonight. So if you're not following the Jennifer Jones, Pastor Jennifer Jones, you need to follow the woman of God. If you're not following said underscore man, follow the man of God. If you're not following Prophet uh, Charles Jr., follow the man of God. Follow Prophet Bryant with a T, Norman. Amen. It's going to go down at... 7 30 eastern standard time i love you guys i'm excited school of the prophets starts thursday Woo! i'm excited about that all right so the sale is over we had a cyber monday sale it's over but you can still register you know i'll still take you know take uh you know some more people all right god bless you i love you i'll see you in a couple of hours god bless let's see if i can stop this thing